It's me, Mario! Hey guys, and welcome to Dome Candy Games Game Brain. This is my segment where I talk about gaming news, tech tips, and uh, software, and you know, pretty much anything related to games besides my reviews and Let's Plays and stuff. I'm here to talk about how freaking awesome people are on the internet. I mean, some people. But specifically, a one Royston Ross. And I really hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. This guy has rekindled the fires of nostalgia by recreating the first stage in Mario 64, Babam Battlefield. Not only that, but you can play it for yourself right now in a browser or download it from his site and play it on your computer. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where he's hosting the game. Ross built this using Unity, which is a pretty popular game engine right now for everything from full 3D games like Cities Skylines to uh, 2D indie games and games on handhelds and whatnot. I actually haven't played Mario 64 in a while, and this isn't meant to be an exact replica of Mario 64, but it is funny how quickly I was trying to find differences in the physics and the gameplay. I pretty much immediately ran over to this bridge and tried to hang from it like you can in the original. This always seemed really weird to me. Anyway, as you can see, there aren't any trees. Um, you can't get in any of the cannons. You can't pick up the bob -oms. And of all things, he decided to include these damn water bombs. I hated these things. Also, there's no chain chomp. You can't run around the post to get coins like you could in the original. But to be honest, it is actually kind of amazing how much is recreated pretty accurately in here. Uh, as soon as I set up my Logitech controller, things felt pretty close to the original. You can still long jump, you can punch, you can even triple jump, you can, you know, jump and slide. So a lot of those mechanics uh, have been implemented in here. It's pretty impressive. Now, I was one of those kids standing there at the demo unit in a Target in the fall of 1996 staring at the magnificence of Mario 64 until my eyes were bloodshot. It's hard to explain it today, but this game really did change games forever. It's probably one of the most important games of all time. The nostalgia factor is understandably huge with this game as well, but for a lot of people, I think it's probably kind of hard to go back to. It holds up really well gameplay-wise, and it holds up pretty well graphically, especially compared to other N64 games. But looking at this re-envisioning of it, it's just fascinating to see this game in a high resolution and a perfect frame rate, really far draw distances, which was a big issue for N64. Most games had to cover up pop-up with dense fog. Uh, I've also forgotten how finicky the camera is in the original game. So at its core, this is just a demo of uh, Ross's super character controller for Unity. He's created a lot of the elements here that you see himself, and uh, he's ripped a few things from uh, Mario Galaxy, like the Mario model. The developer is also very clear about the fact that this is only a demonstration, and he has no intention of taking the project further, so if you were expecting this to turn into a full-on HD remake, fan-made, then sorry. But, I will say, in related news, I do recall that a certain fan-made HD remake of Mario 64 is in development, which I posted about on the Dome Candy Games Facebook page back in January. Um, these projects are actually not related at all. Um, the actual fan remake of the game is being built using the Blender game engine and with other open source utilities, as far as I know. You can check out their Facebook fan page as well, but honestly, I feel like it's just a matter of time before Nintendo just smacks this project down. So bottom line, I know there's the remake on the DS, but where is the HD remake of Mario 64? Come on, Nintendo, let's do this, come on. Anyway, guys, go check out this little demo. It's pretty fun to uh, revisit the game in glorious HD. And uh, thanks for watching Dome Candy Games Game Brain. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. There's more stuff on the way, so consider subscribing and check us out on Facebook with the link below because I sometimes do stuff there. And thanks for watching Dome Candy Games because video games are like candy for your dome.